All right, okay, so last time we, uh, we stopped at Kando for the yeah, line angle yeah, structure, okay? And uh, we learned yeah, how to use yeah, the very easy way to draw the organic molecular structure. And here, just practice for you guys, okay? So try to draw this yeah, four yeah, uh, molecule. So the condensed structure already provided for you, and then just yeah, the, the, yeah, show me the line angle structure, okay? And if you guys like, okay, so you can turn the uh, what's that? Yeah, annotate your yeah, function, and then just directly draw it on the screen. Okay, yeah. Any volunteer? Yeah. If you have any question, okay, type in chart window, okay, and then practice on this, okay. Uh, when you practice on these three uh, questions, couple things. Firstly, it's about your next week. Like, next week is the uh, off week for us, and uh, each of you will have 20 minutes time slot okay, to work on your yeah, uh, mass and those yeah, the yeah, melting point of your sample. Yeah, because the the, the yeah, uh, the lab room okay, so the middle lab room uh, yeah. Uh, there are some yeah, room capacity, okay, probably up to four students. Okay, so in this case, yeah, each 20 minutes, okay, only maybe two or three students can work in. And uh, I will develop some yeah, uh, sign up sheet, okay, put on educate, okay, probably this afternoon, okay. And make sure that the, yeah, you find your yeah, first, yeah, you click on the link and then, yeah, uh, just write down your yeah, full name and then choose your yeah, lab section. And then in your lab section, okay, only pick up one yeah, time slot, okay? So yeah, uh, then just submit it, okay? That's it, okay? So each student here yeah, only submit one yeah, the, the time slot, okay? Don't submit more than one, okay? Because yeah, the, the, uh, some of our lab section, yeah, has yeah, 16 students, okay? So take yeah, full three hours, okay? So if you yeah, submit, yeah, uh, if you submit more than one type time slot, okay? So yeah, some other students won't have yeah, the, the, yeah, time to run their experiment, okay? All right, so that's one thing, okay? The second is about the quiz, okay? Uh, so we'll have a quiz one on Monday, okay? Mainly cover the chapter one, okay? And uh, I will open it uh, from eight until 11, okay? So in the evening. And uh, so the time limitation for the, the yeah, uh, quiz is yeah, the 30 minutes, okay? So yeah, that means yeah, you can choose any 30 minutes time block in this yeah, the three hours, okay? And just keep in mind, okay, so yeah, for the, the yeah, quiz, okay, so it's different from homework, okay, homework, you have, yeah, the, the, yeah, you can, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, try the, yeah, unlimited times, okay, but yeah, the, for the, the quiz, okay, so you can only try once, okay, so yeah, there's one, yeah, the attempt, okay, once you, yeah, finish submit, okay, that's it, okay, you have to move to the next one, okay, and uh, there are definitely kind of, yeah, you cannot see the answers, okay, there's also no feedback, okay. And uh, so I will also probably send you guys some kind of the, the yeah, um, periodic table and also electronic activity table, okay? So you, those you can yeah, bring it with you, okay, for the quiz. Yeah, the quiz uh, will be on smart work, okay? Smart work file. Yeah, quiz will be on smart work file, okay? And uh, so only the, the yeah, periodic table and those who, yeah, uh, uh, electronic tip table, okay, will yeah, be allowed, okay, so no others, okay. Uh, okay, quiz will be on Monday, okay, and from 8 to 11 p.m., okay, and then, but yeah, the, the, yeah you can only have a yeah, certain minutes for the quiz, okay, so that means you can choose any 30 minutes, yeah, time, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah, the, kind of, yeah, block for the, the yeah, quiz, okay, so, yeah. And uh, I will post the, the, the yeah, practice quiz online probably uh, uh, this afternoon or maybe this evening, okay? And uh, so it has exactly same format, similar difficulty as a real case, okay? So make sure you work on it, okay? So that's yeah, pretty critical, okay? So yeah, uh, yeah, help you guys kind of get a little bit of idea, okay? So if you take quiz online, okay? So yeah, uh, how kind of you yeah, to prepare for it, okay? Okay, okay, so that's about quiz. Okay, let me see what else. Yeah, so for more information, okay, so I will yeah, probably send out an email, okay, so both about the, the yeah, quiz and those the, the yeah, uh, lab sign up sheet, okay, don't worry, okay.
Oh, oh. Okay, so if you are, have uh, the conflict schedule, okay, so send me email, okay, so I can open the quiz uh, at another time for you, okay? So just send me email, okay? Yeah. All right, okay, so now, uh, okay, another thing, okay, forgot to mention. Uh, the chemistry department, okay, so yeah, may open, yeah, uh, some kind of yeah, summer organic chemistry tool, yeah, uh, class, okay. So yeah, the, the department had the man ask me kind of yeah, do some kind of yeah, poll, okay. So, oh. All right. So they want to kind of yeah, get a little bit of idea how many students will register for the yeah, summer organic chemistry tool, okay. All right. So here, just kind of yeah, the poll, okay. So yeah, uh, if we, uh, we have kind of yeah, summer organic chemistry tool, okay, we will take it, okay. Yes, definitely, okay. or maybe, okay. So yeah, just yeah, click on it, okay. All right, and uh, give you guys yeah, five more seconds, okay. So we have 24 out of 30, it's okay. Six students have the answer, it, okay. All right, please yeah, the, the, yeah, type your answer, okay. Maybe, yeah. Uh, note to me, I'm sorry, okay. So I'm quite busy in the summer, okay. So yeah, some other professor will teach it. Right, and uh, three more students, okay. So yeah. Three more seconds, okay. So yeah, type your answer whether you want to yeah, the, yeah take the class. Okay, so now all students submit the answer, okay. All right, so in this case, yeah, I need to record the number, okay. So yeah, I already did a survey for the, the yeah, morning section, okay. So pretty similar number, okay, actually, okay. Seven students, yeah, definitely will take it, and then 17, okay. So yeah, this morning kind of seven, 18, okay. Very similar number, okay. This is the auto for 31. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the, the yeah, result. Okay. Seven, want to yeah, take it and some maybe. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we move back to yeah, the, the lecture. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So yeah. Anyone want to volunteer draw the structure for the these three molecule? Okay, so we have line angle structure. Yeah, so you can use the annotate row, okay. Uh, okay, so. Okay, someone did the first one. Uh, no down yet, okay, so there's the nitrogen, okay, NH2. Uh, it will kind of work. H two on, okay. That'll be an H. Right. So the H two is not uh, in the middle carbon. Right. Yeah, that should be on the terminal carbon. Right. Anyone want to try the? Okay, the summer. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so <laughs> just carry. Okay, so anyone want to try the, the third one and also fourth one? Yeah, the third one is right. Okay, good. And the last one, anyone want to try it? All right, for the first one, I do some little bit of correction, okay? Yeah, you need to put your H2 at the end of the carbon. Alright. Mm, yeah, the last one is almost right, okay. But yeah, remember, okay. So yeah, the, the yeah, in the class I said kind of yeah, the, the yeah, for the, the yeah triple bond, you need to show me the, the yeah linear, okay. So yeah, the straight line, okay. So not uh, yeah the, the angle, okay. So can you redraw it, okay? So show the straight, okay, because the, the yeah. Bound angle should be a 180 degree, okay? So not a kind of a 120 something. Uh, yeah, maybe, okay, so other, okay. Yeah, other professor will teach you the summary course, okay? And then probably a doctor, the, the, yeah, Paul Savoy, okay, will teach you the summary lab, okay? All right, that's right, okay, perfect, okay, good. 
Where are the others? Yeah, okay, there's there. All right, so that's the final answer. Perfect, okay. Very good, okay. And now I have to yeah, remove it. All right, so clear all the drawing. Okay, thank you guys, okay. Okay, so now I want you guys a little bit of focus on, okay, so yeah, the, the, yeah. Next, we come to kind of a yeah, most difficult part, okay, so for the chapter two, actually kind of yeah, the first difficult point about organic chemistry is yeah, the, the yeah, constitutional isomer, okay. So what's constitutional isomer, okay, so yeah, that's just yeah, the yeah, same yeah, the molecular formula, okay, but yeah, different molecule, okay, just different connectivity of the R atom, okay. All right, give you one example, okay, so that's yeah, the, the yeah, C4H10, right. So four carbon, 10 hydrogens, okay. So based on this formula, actually you can draw two different yeah, the, the molecule, okay. So one, I, I, I here, the first example I use the yeah, condensed structure, okay. C3, okay, CH2, CH2, CH3, right. So that's yeah, the, the yeah, uh, four carbon, 10 hydrogen. Right, and uh, actually kind of, yeah, there's yeah, another molecule give you the same yeah, formula. So that's actually this one, okay, C3, CH, CH3, okay, so somehow kind of a yeah, branched one, okay. So this one also has yeah, the other, yeah, uh, four carbon and then 10 hydrogens, okay. So yeah, so these two molecules, we call them, yeah, the constitution isomer, same formula, but a different connectivity, okay. Right, give you another example, okay, so yeah, uh, C5H12, uh, okay. So this time I'm gonna draw just kind of a line angle structure, okay? So yeah, just yeah, the, the, yeah, to save some time, okay? All right, so this file, it's five, okay, it's the first one, just definitely kind of linear one, okay? So straight chain. And then second one, okay, so yeah, we can do is yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, take one carbon off, okay? And then put the yeah, into, yeah, onto the second carbon, okay? So in this case, yeah, we generate some kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, branched structure, okay? So that's yeah, the carbon here, okay? Right. Some people said kind of yeah, the, the, can we uh, take this carbon off okay, and then put on the, the yeah, third carbon? Yes, the answer is kind of yeah, yes, you can do that, but actually that's generally kind of the yeah, same molecule, okay? Right, if you put on here, okay? So these two molecules actually same thing, okay? So yeah, if you rotate the second molecule like yeah, the 180 degrees, okay, that's exactly the same thing, okay? So that's yeah, the, the yeah, node constitution isomer, okay? But yeah, you can do this, okay? You can take this carbon off, okay, and then put on the second carbon, okay. So that's give you kind of yeah, the new constitution mark, okay. Right. So in another words, okay, there are kind of totally three constitution mark based on C5H12, okay. So here are some kind of yeah, the yeah, uh, definition, okay. So yeah, uh, for one carbon, uh, for kind of yeah, one yeah, the constitution mark here. So if your yeah, old carbon only connect here yeah, more no more than no, no more than yeah two carbons, okay, two other carbons, okay. That will be straight chain, okay. So for example here, okay, so this straight chain, okay. All carbon connect either one carbon or yeah, just two carbon like the middle carbon, okay. So that's will generate kind of straight chain, okay. But yeah, if yeah, there's one or more carbon, okay, so which connect yeah, three or more carbons, okay, then you will generate kind of a yeah, branch chain, okay. So for example here, okay, this carbon connect with three carbons, okay, this carbon connect with your four carbon okay? So those are yeah, the branched carbon, okay? So they yeah, are branched chain, okay? Right. And uh, it's yeah, easy to predict, okay? So yeah, if we are the, the yeah, we increase yeah, the carbon number in the, the yeah, molecular form, okay? So that's kind of yeah, draw more, yeah, uh, constitutional isomer, okay? So we can see here, okay? So yeah, if we increase to six carbons, and give you kind of five constitutional isomer, and then seven, we will give you kind of a yeah, nine constitutional isomer, okay? And then quickly, yeah, dramatically increase the number, okay, so yeah, with increase yeah, the, the yeah, uh, carbon numbers, okay, so yeah. For you guys, yeah, probably you can take part to see a draw your six carbon one and those seven carbon one, okay, so what's the constitution, okay. And uh, so just to keep in mind, okay, so constitutional isomer, okay, so constitutional isomer, okay, a different compound, okay, so they have different, yeah, the, the yeah, physical properties, different melting point, bonding point, that's what we'll talk about later, okay, and uh, different chemical properties, okay. So yeah, in organic chemistry too, okay, we will learn, uh, Two constitutional isomer, okay, so they even have different reactions, okay. So that's yeah, the, the, yeah, something to keep in mind, okay. All right, and uh, yeah, make thing more complicated is yeah, the, the, yeah, sometimes they are, you can have some yeah, heat your atom, okay, heat your atom on the molecule, in the molecule, okay. And then that's yeah, can give you more yeah, constitutional isomer, okay. 
and give you one example, okay? Right. So for example, okay, so we have we are say five H eleven and then say L okay, correct. So here, yeah, uh, if you want to draw the, the yeah, continuous isomer, yeah, uh, for formula containing uh, the, the heat atom, okay, so you do the following step, okay. The first only draw the carbon framework, carbon framework, only carbon, okay, carbon part, okay. And then you attach uh, the base on the other, the yeah, carbon part, okay, carbon framework, okay. And then you start to attach uh, the, the yeah, heat atom, okay. And then you can generate kind of a bunch of yeah, the, the continuous isomer, okay. So we use this one as example, okay. So we have five carbons, okay. So we first yeah, draw the kind of carbon framework, okay. So only has yeah, the other, yeah, I only have a kind of yeah, five carbons, okay. Right, first one like this, okay. And then second one, okay. So yeah, actually, yeah, the other, we already have yeah, this, yeah, the two, yeah, three carbon framework, okay. So for the five carbons, okay. So this one, and then that's kind of yeah, the star one, okay. Okay, so that's the first step, okay. And then second step, okay. So you start to yeah, the, the, yeah, add yeah, the Correct okay, onto your individual carbon framework. Okay, so you'll see kind of yeah, how many constituent isomers you can generate from each one. Okay, All right, for the first one, you can attach the carbon framework here, touch here, and also the touch here. Okay, and someone asked, kind of, how about yeah, this carbon? Okay, so the fourth carbon actually same thing as kind of yeah, second carbon because they are symmetric. Okay, and the same thing for here. Okay, so last carbon same as kind of yeah, the first carbon. Okay, so also same thing. Right, so in this case, yeah, you can generate kind of actually three of yeah, the, yeah, constitutive size marking. So, right, so attach on the first carbon, attach on the second carbon, and then attach on the middle carbon. Just based on the, 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 the yeah, uh, first constitute, uh, first kind of, uh, And then, yeah, for the second, yeah, carbon framework, okay, so yeah, you can attach uh, the chloride onto uh, this, yeah, the, the position, okay, here, here, and here, and here. So as long as there's yeah, no symmetric, okay, so yeah, no problem, you will generate a different, yeah, the, the yeah, constituent isomer, okay. And then if you want to touch on the top carbon, actually the same as here, okay, because these two are symmetric, okay, so that's yeah, the something to keep in mind, okay. And in this case, yeah, based on second carbon framework, okay, we can generate kind of yeah, the other yeah, four yeah, constituent isomer, okay. So they are okay on the first carbon, on the second carbon, third carbon, on the, on the last carbon, okay. So three, okay. Mm. Uh, so if you attach here, you'll generate the kind of same molecule, okay, as the first one, okay. These two are symmetrical, okay. These two are symmetrical, okay. So we'll generate the same thing, okay. Same as here, okay. So if you attach here, same as here, and then you touch yeah, this spot, same as here, okay. So yeah, how you kind of on symmetrical one, okay. Otherwise, yeah, you'll generate the kind of same molecule, okay, and then you just draw the same kind of yeah, the yeah, structure, okay. All right, and then the same thing for the last one, okay. So last one, okay, so yeah, because kind of a lot of symmetry, okay, so yeah, there's a lot of symmetry, okay. And uh, yeah, mirror image, that's right, okay. And uh, then you can only attach kind of the, the yeah, one chloride, okay, so yeah, onto either this one, this one, this one, this one, okay, so they all give the same kind of yeah, structure, okay. So that means here, the, the, yeah, for the last yeah, carbon framework, okay, so yeah, pretty much yeah, the, you only can have yeah, one, yeah, constitutional isomer, okay, because yeah, the, all the four terminal carbon are same same structure, okay. And some are kind of yeah, the kind of attach yeah, the, the chloride to the middle carbon. The answer is no, okay, because that will break up octet rule, okay. So you get too many electrons strong kind of yeah, the carbon, okay. All right, so that's uh, the yeah, relatively easier, okay. So yeah, because yeah, the, the, yeah, for the chloride, okay, so you only build up one bond, okay. But yeah, the, the, yeah, if you have some kind of other heat atom, okay, so yeah, you can get yeah, more than yeah, the, the yeah, one, yeah, I mean, the, the, yeah, more than one bond, okay, and then it has the yeah, more, yeah, uh, different situations, okay. So, example is yeah, the, the, yeah, uh, yeah, C4H10 oxygen.
customer. So this time, yeah, you guys can take try okay, to see how many of the yeah, uh, different other the yeah, consumer items you can draw, okay. So give you one hint, okay. So different from credit, credit can only build up one bond, okay, C C R C bond, okay. For the oxygen, okay, so you can yeah, attach to two carbon, okay. Also yeah, attach one carbon and one hydrogen, okay. So that's alcohol actually, okay. So in this case, yeah, there's more yeah, consumer based on yeah, the, the, yeah, this formula, okay. Yeah, so this is how you can yeah, if someone like, okay, so also can yeah, the, the draw the, the yeah, constant isomer, okay, for this formula, okay, on the screen, okay, you'll see the, the yeah, uh, annotate kind of your function, okay, so yeah. Yeah, say for, yeah, H10, go. Anyone want to take a try? Oh. How many constituents you can control? Right. Give you guys one hint, okay? Oh, okay, someone tried it. Uh, okay. Uh, no double bond in this molecule, okay? I can tell you, okay? So yeah, because the other, the, yeah, uh, this one is a saturated molecule. That's what I'll talk about later, okay? So all a single bond, okay, all a single bond, okay. All right, almost, okay, so miss one hydrogen. Rock, okay, let me see. Someone still turn the... Okay, I see, okay. For exactly, yeah, next time, please yeah, mute yourself. All right, pretty good, okay. So we get one, two, uh, yeah, black one's right, okay, and then this yeah, pink one's also right. Uh, this blue one only miss one hydrogen, okay. So if you put hydrogen, okay, so maybe I help you put it down. That will be right, okay. Right, anyone come up with other constituents more than these five, uh, these three? Right. So, okay, so. Uh, the two black ones, same thing, okay? So yeah, if you rotate the 180 degrees, okay, that's give you the same molecule, okay? That's yeah, not a yeah, different constituent isomer. Right. Oh, you can just see the, the yeah, uh, type here, how many constituent isomers are coming up, okay? So yeah. So three so far, okay, and then I get four, five or six. You can type it, you can also type in the chart window, okay, I, I draw the five constitute isomer, okay, I draw the six or more. Right. That's right, okay, so we have the fourth one, good. All right, did anyone get here the more than four? Right, anyone get kind of five or six? All right, looks like no. <laughs> this morning section, okay, so yeah, the maximum student can get is yeah, the seven, uh, six constitute isom, okay. So there's a one, the yeah, student get a six, okay. Anyone get a six? Oh, all right, okay. Okay, so now I will go through this question to show you guys kind of way how to draw the constitute isomer, okay? You need to do the stepwise, okay? All right, 
Okay, thanks. Yeah, student kind of yeah, the draw the yeah, uh, consumer here. Okay, so yeah, I have to kind of yeah, erase you yeah, the drawing. Okay, All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So for this, yeah, the, the yeah, former actually, yeah, you can draw seven constant isomer. Okay. Right. So that's yeah, the case in here. Okay. So yeah, COO, uh, COC bond and the COH bond. Okay. All right. So first, yeah, we need to draw the carbon framework. Okay. Like I said, okay. So do it step by step. For four carbons, we actually kind of yeah, only three uh, carbon framework. Well, yeah, only two. Okay. This two. Okay. So that's what we just learned in the very beginning. Okay. Fifteen. And uh, so first, okay, so yeah, the, the, yeah, we do it one by one, okay. First, yeah, for this one, okay, we can attach uh, the, the oxygen, okay, and then generally kind of OH group, okay. Where I can touch it, okay, we can attach to here, attach to here, okay. So that's the yeah, same thing, okay. If you attach here to here, okay, so that's the yeah, same thing. And if you attach here to here, okay, that's also the same thing. Okay? So in this case, yeah, the, the, yeah we can have yeah, the, the, yeah, two constant isomer, okay, such as yeah, the OH. So something you're gonna draw here, that's actually the exact same thing here, okay. All right, so keep in mind, okay, that's here, only build up now COH bound, okay, but yeah, you can also build up now here the, the yeah, COC bound, okay. That means here, yeah, you can insert oxygen between the carbon, and we use a different color, okay. How about we insert oxygen here, and then insert here, okay. So that's actually give you kind of another two, yeah, the continuous isomer, okay. So if you insert here, that's same as the first one. Okay. Okay. All right. So those are yeah, the four continuous isomer kind of yeah, still in the draw the, the on the screen. Okay. But don't forget. Okay. So yeah, the, the yeah you need to draw the carbon framework. Okay. So you have kind of another carbon framework. This guy. Okay. So that's one actually you can also yeah draw the continuous isomer. Okay. The branch one. All right. So yeah, first again we attach the oxygen. Okay. We can attach oxygen here. Also attach here. Okay. And if you attach here and here, as same as kind of a touch on top carbon. So in this case, you generally kind of get another uh, two constant isomer. Okay, ones go here, ones like this. Right. And in the end, okay, you can insert the, the uh, uh, oxygen, okay? So you can insert here between these two carbon. Okay, so that's the other. Yeah. And if you insert between these two, the same as the other, these two and these two, okay? So that's the same thing, okay? Because it's symmetric, okay? Right, so in this case here, yeah, you can have the other, yeah. The last the constituent, okay. So overall, okay. So for this molecule, okay, you can draw yeah totally a seven constituent, okay. All right. If you think that's already hard, okay. So yeah, the, the, yeah, even harder coming, okay. So here, yeah, all the, the yeah, molecule are just kind of yeah, all single bond, no ring, no double, yeah, double bond or triple bond, okay. But yeah, the, the, yeah, for the reality, okay, so yeah, a lot of yeah, the organic molecule has kind of a yeah, double bond or ring structure or kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, a trip bond, okay? And that's yeah, involved a yeah, concept called saturation, okay? So for yeah, molecule which led so far is uh, called kind of saturated molecule, okay? So that means yeah, the, the, yeah, all the carbon has a maximum of yeah, hydrogen attached to it, okay? And uh, so C6H14 is yeah, the one example, okay? And uh, so for this molecule, okay, so we have the two terminal carbon, yeah, has yeah, the three hydrogen attached, okay, all other carbon has yeah, the, the, yeah, have we have the, the yeah, uh, each have we have two carbon, uh, two hydrogen attached to it, okay. So yeah, for this molecule, yeah, uh, you can yeah, use yeah, the, the, yeah, say uh, H2N plus two, okay, as it's kind of general formula, okay, so that's your yeah, maximum hydrogen can attach to yeah, the, the yeah, uh, carbon, okay. And then the, the plus two is kind of coming from you know, the two terminal carbon, okay? So those two terminal carbon, okay, so yeah, the, the, yeah, uh, has, yeah, the, have actual kind of hydrogen on it, okay? Right, and uh, so if we, uh, we remove one pair of hydrogen, okay, so for example, yeah, the, the, yeah, we remove yeah, the, the, yeah, uh, these two, okay? These two hydrogen, okay? So that's here, yeah, we will generate kind of a double bond, okay? So yeah, uh, let's see, CH2, 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 bond, okay? And then there, yeah, one, two, three, three, kind of, yeah, CH2, two, and three. Right. So I just draw the kind of, yeah, the, the yeah, uh, line angle, uh, condensed structure. And then if we take one pair of hydrogen, we generate kind of one degree on saturation. 
And uh, also, you actually yeah, you can take care of the yeah, two terminal hydrogen away, okay? So these two terminal ones, okay? And then, yeah, build bond between these yeah, two terminal carbon, okay? And then that's will generate yeah, the ring structure. And then I just yeah, show you guys yeah, the, the yeah, line angle structure here, okay? okay. Both yeah, will give you one degree on saturation, okay? And uh, so if you take care yeah, of the, yeah, in other words, okay, so if you take two hydrogen away, okay, so the general former become kind of say a CN H two N okay, that will become kind of a one degree on saturation okay. D N is kind of a D U is on degree one degree saturation okay. So one degree saturation means yeah the, the yeah there's yeah either one double bond okay so the, the, this, this is double bond okay, or one ring structure okay cyclic structure in the molecule okay either one double bond one ring structure. And uh, actually, kind of, yeah, we can yeah, continue yeah, this process, take another pair of yeah, the hydrogen. The general yeah, former become a CnH2 uh, minus 2, okay? And in this case, yeah, we'll introduce two degree on saturation. And two degree saturation become more complicated, okay? So yeah, there's the other, the folding combination could be two the bond, okay? So yeah, each one degree of surgery, okay? Oh, two rings. All right, okay, so yeah, turn off your microphone, please. Oh, kind of, yeah, one triple bond. Triple bond count two degree on saturation. Oh, kind of one ring or one double bond, okay? Plus one double bond, okay? So those all can be counted at the two degree on saturation, okay? Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, here come maybe some students ask kind of, yeah, the, is there any easier way, okay? So yeah, the, I can figure out the yeah, degree on saturation, okay? Because yeah, the, yeah, if I have one formula, I have to count carbon number, hydrogen number, okay, to say whether yeah, they fit into yeah, the yeah, CN, uh, H2N plus two or CN H2N or CN H2N minus two, okay? So that's two halves, okay? The answer is a yes, okay, so yeah, we have one yeah, the, the, yeah, equation, okay, can yeah, help you calculate yeah, the, the yeah, degree on saturation, depend on yeah, the, what, yeah, the, the, yeah, how many carbon, how many hydrogen, how many kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, oxygen, um, actually no oxygen, kind of yeah, chlorine, or kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, uh, nitrogen, okay, All right. So write down, okay, write down here, come to yeah, the, the, one of the important kind of yeah, the, the equation in organic chemistry two, okay, in organic chemistry one, okay. So degree on saturation equals to yeah, two times carbon number okay, plus two minus hydrogen number minus hydrogen number, okay? Hydrogen is a chloride, bromide, iodide kind of fluorine, okay? Plus, okay, keep in mind, plus, okay, so yeah, different from the other, uh, these two, okay? Plus nitrogen number, okay? The whole thing you divide by two, okay? So that's here, the number come up, okay? What's number, the positive or negative, okay? So yeah, normally kind of, it should be positive, okay? Mm -hmm. What's the number come up? That's the degree on saturation, okay? Right. You said normally the answer should be positive? Yeah, normally it has to be positive, okay? The kind of kind of negative, yeah, okay? And also has to be kind of whole number, okay? So we cannot get half of yeah, degree on saturation, okay? Okay, and uh, someone asked kind of how about uh, sulfur and also yeah, oxygen, okay? Sulfur oxygen has no effect to yeah, degree on saturation. If you still see the sulfur oxygen in the molecule formula, it's just ignore it. That's fine, okay? All right. Only worry about kind of carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen number, okay? All right, so now I'll give you guys kind of yeah, uh, some yeah, the calculation example, okay? So for example, yeah, we have yeah, the C6H10Br, okay? So they see yeah, the formula, okay? So yeah, you can use yeah, they see yeah, the equation quickly determine what's yeah, the yeah, uh, degree on saturation, okay? All right, so. Six carbon, okay, six carbon times two, okay, plus two minus hydrogen number, okay, so that's your nine, okay, minus here the, the hydrogen number, okay, so that's one, okay, so we have only have one bromide, okay, and then divided by two, okay, so that's be 12, 14, 14 minus 10, so four, okay, so that's here, give you kind of a two. So that means here for the fourth formula, okay, so the degree on saturation should be two, okay, so that's being said, the, yeah, either two double bound, or two rings, one three bound, one ring plus one double bound, okay? So those are yeah, situation. And then we do the next kind of yeah, example, okay? So that's the, the, yeah, say eight, okay? So eight carbons times two plus two, okay? 
minus hydrogen number 13, and then plus, okay, keep in mind, okay, nitrogen number, you need to add the on, okay, plus one, okay, only one nitrogen. And then whole thing you divide by two, okay, so we are two, let's see, 16, 18, 18 minus, okay, five, five plus one, six, six divided by two, that should be three, okay. So that means, yeah, for this molecule, you have kind of, yeah, three de uh, degree on saturation, okay. So three degree on saturation situation become more and more, yeah, that's kind of more complicated, okay, so that's it. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that uh, should be pretty easy. Okay, as long as you remember, yeah, this yeah, the formula okay, it should be yeah, easy to figure out the degree of saturation. Okay. All right, so now it's your guys' turn. Okay, try to yeah, use yeah, this equation, calculate degree of saturation for this uh, four yeah, formula. All right, so take a try, take a try, okay. Yeah, again, okay, so if you like, okay, so you can uh, uh, either use the, yeah, use your annotated rule, okay, so yeah, uh, tool, okay, uh, write your answer on the screen, or yeah, you can yeah, type your answer in the chart window, okay, either way is fine, okay. You just try to get kind of a little bit idea, okay, so yeah, the, the, yeah whether you guys yeah, the, the, yeah, learn how to do it, okay. Right, again, okay. So two times carbon number plus two minus hydrogen number minus hydrogen number. Hydrogen include the other, uh, yeah. Uh, try try to put your answer yeah on the, the yeah, screen. Okay, don't don't draw the yeah, draw the, yeah, the, the yeah, equation. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you. All right. Try to. So for the first one, because there is no hydrogen. Uh, if there's no hydrogen, that's zero means, yeah, okay. So you don't need to worry about it, okay, so yeah. So if there's you know, no hydrogen, uh, no nitrogen, sorry, okay. So if there's no nitrogen, no other atom, okay, so just put the zero, okay. So for the first one, okay, so yeah, uh, you just see the, the yeah, just see only carbon and hydrogen. All right, cool, okay. Some students come up here, the, the yeah, deal number four for the first one, that's right, okay. Okay, can anyone try the second one, okay? C5H7Cr. Okay, I don't know, someone put here three next to your uh, second one, that's actually wrong, third, okay? Can anyone come up other numbers, okay, for the second one? Oh yeah, if you yeah, don't want to yeah, draw the answer on the screen, you can yeah, type in the chart window, okay? So what's the degree on saturation for the second one? Yeah, that's right, okay. All right. DU means how many kind of rings, okay? So if it's one DU, okay, if you come up, kind of the come up, kind of yeah, just one degree on saturation, okay? So like, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll give you an example later. One degree on saturation, okay, so that means here the, the, yeah, there's only one ring, okay, or one kind of yeah, bond, okay. So if there's yeah, the DO number equals two, okay, so it can be two double bond, two rings, and two, yeah, one triple bond, one ring, one plus, yeah, one double bond, okay. So that's help you figure out here yeah, what's yeah, the, the yeah, uh, structures, okay, so for molecule, okay, help you draw the constitutional isomer, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of key thing, okay. All right, someone come up kind of your second one. It's two, okay. So that's the right answer, okay. And then someone also come up here, yeah, the, the third one, four, that's also right answer, okay. All right, can anyone try the last one, okay? Last one looks like a yeah, huge, yeah, the lot of yeah, the atom, okay. Looks like scary, okay. So it yeah, looks scary, okay. But yeah, the, the, yeah, if you use yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, let me see, okay, someone put a three, okay, sorry, that's the wrong answer, okay. Did anyone come up with other numbers? Does anyone come up with other numbers for the, the last one? All right, four is right, okay, bingo, okay. All right. All right, so that should be pretty easy, okay, yeah. Four, two, four, four, okay, so that's yeah, the other, you guys yeah, the, the know how to do it, okay. All right, okay, so yeah, like I said, kind of, yeah, if we are involved degree on saturation, okay, situation become kind of more complicated, more complicated, okay, 
and when you draw the constitution okay and uh, so here i want you guys write down okay so yeah okay how don't kind of your yeah, oxygen don't count okay so reason for that kind of yeah, the, the, yeah. oxygen yeah, bound two things okay and itself okay so yeah, the, the, yeah uh yeah normally speaking kind of yeah, the, the, yeah has yeah two long pairs okay so that's yeah, kind of yeah, the count out okay so cancel out each other okay and then that's don't count it okay so that's yeah, the reason okay so yeah uh, for you guys kind of yeah just yeah don't need kind of yeah, the, the, yeah care about okay so yeah just yeah where you we'll see yeah the, the yeah oxygen and those yeah the, the yeah mm, sulfur okay so don't count okay so just just nothing just nothing okay okay so now yeah if we give you yeah one formula okay how do you draw it's here yeah, the consumption draw the, the yeah old consumption yeah you don't miss one miss anyone don't kind of yeah, the, the draw the repeating one okay so that's yeah do it the following step okay so yeah write it down okay write down okay right first yeah the, the yeah calculate the yield number okay so that's will tell you yeah, the, the yeah number of yeah, the double one okay and this double one okay and then number of yeah, the, the ring okay and also number of trip one, okay? So that's yeah, kind of important, okay? Right, and then second, okay? So yeah, you need yeah, the, the, yeah, draw the carbon framework. Framework. So that's just kind of a carbon, okay? Without any other atom, okay? So yeah, if there are some kind of yeah, the, the yeah, degree on saturation, okay? So we can also draw ring in this step, okay? So yeah, like three membranes, five membranes, two membranes, some, something like this, okay? Right. And then the third step, okay, so yeah, you can add yeah, the, the yeah, double bond, okay, or triple bond, okay. So that's yeah, try to yeah, make yeah, all the degree on saturation accountable, okay, so yeah. So that's yeah, all the degree on saturation you see, okay. And then we move to the last one, okay. If there's kind of heat atom, heat atom like uh, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, whatever, okay. So you do it uh, in the last step, okay. Add heat atom, okay. All right, so there are yeah, some situations kind of, yeah, you need to add more than one heat atom, okay. So in this case, yeah, the, you add one heat atom first, okay trying to kind of yeah, some base structure, okay? And then based on individual base structure, okay? You add a second heat atom, okay? So I will give one example later, okay? So don't worry, okay? All right. Okay, so why yeah, the, the yeah, calculate deal number is kind of important okay? because that's kind of provides you kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, what's the base structure you can draw the kind of yeah, right base structure, okay? So now I do a little bit, yeah. Give you one example, okay? Say four H8, right? Okay, can anyone tell me what's the degree on saturation for this molecule, or for this formula, C4H8? What's the DU number for C4H8? That's right, okay, that's one, okay, so yeah. That's the, yeah, got big fit in the, the yeah, uh, CN and uh, yeah, H2N yeah, formula, okay, one degree of saturation, okay. So that means, yeah, there's yeah, the one double bond, okay, oh, one ring, okay, so in the molecule, okay. So next, okay, we try to draw the carbon framework for this molecule. And the four carbons, okay, so yeah, let's see, we do the down the first step, we do the second step, carbon form. Four carbons, okay, only yeah, the, the, yeah, the linear one, branch one, okay. But yeah, keep in mind, okay, so you can also have yeah, the one ring, okay, one ring, okay, so that means yeah, the, the, yeah, you can also draw ring structures, okay, for this formula, okay. All right, how about four membrane, okay. How about the three membrane? All right. So those are yeah, also four carbons and then yeah, uh, can fit into this form, okay? No problem, okay? But just keep in mind, these two already use up kind of yeah, one degree on saturation, okay? The ring count uh, as one degree on saturation, okay? You cannot add that bond to these two anymore, okay? But you can add that bond to these two, okay? These two, yeah, the, the yeah, uh, non-ring structure, okay? So where can you add the double bond, okay? So yeah, you can add, yeah, we do it one by one, okay? So yeah, we do the individual, yeah, the framework first. Yeah, the first framework first, okay? You can add double bond here, all double bond here. 
Someone said, no, how about the last 1K? But yeah, that will be same as the first 1K. So the general kind of symmetrical structure is right. And then based on yeah, the base here, the, the yeah, two yeah, uh, double population, we can draw kind of yeah, the two yeah, constant isomer. Right, these two, okay. And then yeah, the, the, for the second 1K, so we yeah, can only add that bound kind of yeah, to the CC here. Okay. You add two here and then two here. That's the same thing okay, because the kind of symmetrical structure, okay. So that's the same molecule, okay. Okay, so in this case, yeah, based on C four H eight, okay, totally you can draw yeah, five constitutional isomers, okay, five constitutional isomers. Okay, so that's yeah, the only has yeah, the carbon and those yeah, the hydrogen, okay. So um, to make your life a little bit harder, okay. So yeah, we can add yeah, the heater atom, okay, even on it, okay. Right. For example, okay, so yeah, if we have kind of a yeah, C3H5CL, okay, so this one, okay, so I, I just uh, do your calculation, yeah, I tell you the D, okay, the D is yeah, the one, okay. All right, so now your yeah, situation got more complicated. We have kind of yeah, the one degree something, one ring, and then one double bond, okay, and also, yeah, the, the, yeah we can have yeah, the, the yeah, heat atom in it, okay, so in this case, yeah, the, the, yeah uh, how do we draw the, yeah, Isomer, okay, so again, do the step wise, okay. First, draw the carbon framework, okay. Carbon framework, three carbons, okay. That's one, okay. Another one because it's one degree of saturation, okay, can come up like this, right? So that's two, okay, right. And then, second, add that bond, okay. So you can only add that bond onto the other, yeah, left framework, but the right one is because yeah, this will already use up, yeah, one degree of saturation, okay. So when you add that bond, okay, so you can add the yeah, here, okay, and uh, you, you can also add here, okay, but yeah, that's yeah, just the same thing, okay, so because of symmetrical, okay, all right. So now we come up with yeah, this carbon framework, okay. And then for in case, so we can add yeah, the, the uh, hydrogen, okay, so yeah, so those are yeah, two yeah, base structure, okay, we add hydrogen, okay. So for the first one, okay, you can add hydrogen here, add hydrogen here, and then add hydrogen here, okay, so all okay with different structure, okay. So in this case, yeah, the, the, you can have a three a constitutional size okay. Yeah, they are on symmetrical, okay. So that's why you can add the other on the all three carbons, okay. So we can move up. Okay. Right, and then for the last one, okay, so we'll add the hydrogens, okay. So yeah, because it's kind of totally symmetrical, okay. So yeah, uh, you can add on to this carbon, it will be same as here and here, okay. So that means yeah, the, the, yeah only one constitutional isomer will generate by the, the last framework, okay. Okay, so in this case, yeah, totally you get kind of the, the yeah, four different other constant isomer. Okay. All right, so that's here, yeah, do it stepwise, okay. And uh, it's close to end of the class, okay. So yeah, uh, gave you kind of yeah, the, the yeah, uh, some practice, okay, so when you go home, okay, so try to yeah, draw the constant isomer for yeah, uh, C3H6Br2, okay, two bromide, okay, right, and also try to draw the constant isomer for C4H6, okay, so that's yeah, the pretty good, yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, question, what's the question, so to the DO prevent adding more? Yeah, that's right, okay, so yeah. DU can just tell you how many carbon, uh, how many uh, ring, and also how many of the, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right, okay, yeah. So this one, yeah, prevent you add the, the yeah, CC that bond, okay, so that's already take one DU degree on saturation, okay, so you uh, cannot add that bond, okay. Right. Okay, so the, for the first one, okay, so there are two bromide, okay, Two bromide case, okay, so yeah, the, the, yeah, you try to kind of yeah, the, the, yeah, carbon framework and then add one bromide on, okay, okay, so to see kind of how many of the base structure you can generate, okay. And then for the each individual, yeah, the, the, yeah, mono bromide kind of structure, okay, add second one, okay, and then to see how many kind of, yeah, constitutional you can generate, okay. Yeah. And uh, for the, the yeah, uh, this one, okay, so yeah, the DU is two, okay. So although only kind of yeah, four carbon, no too many hydrogens, okay, but yeah, the, this one has yeah, the, quite a few yeah, constitutional isomer, okay? So yeah, take a try, okay? So it could be kind of yeah, two double bond, okay? 
one double bomb, uh, and then one ring, and two ring, and also one tree bomb, okay? So yeah, you can, you have to yeah, think about all the situations, okay, for the last one, okay? And uh, yeah, practice on it, okay? So I will give you an answer yeah, on yeah, Monday yeah, lecture, okay? All right, okay, so that's yeah, we're done yeah, with the lecture today, okay? Do you guys have any questions?